In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Starburst Galaxy to query data that resides in your data lake. But before we get started, let's take care of some quick housekeeping notes. If you'd like to follow along with me, you'll need a Starburst Galaxy account with a catalog and cluster already configured. You can find instructions for setting those up in the Starburst Academy course titled Starburst Galaxy Getting Started. I've already signed into my Galaxy account, and the first thing I want to do is make sure that my cluster is running. A Starburst Galaxy cluster provides the computing resources to run queries against your catalogs. You can find the clusters panel by clicking the clusters link in the left-hand navigation bar. The cluster I'll be using is called AWS US East One Free. Notice that mine is in suspended mode at the moment, but all I have to do is click resume here to start it up again. This takes about a minute, so I'll pause the video here and come back when it's ready. My cluster is now running. Let's go over to the query editor to get started on querying the data lake. There's a link in the left-hand navigation bar to get to the query editor. I have a list here of all the clusters, catalogs, schemas, tables, views, etc. in my Galaxy account. I'm going to expand the AWS US East One free cluster to take a closer look at the catalogs contained within. I have several catalogs, but the one I'll be using for this exercise is the Lakehouse Burst Bank 2 catalog. Now, if you followed along and did the Starburst Galaxy Getting Started course, yours is probably called Lakehouse Burst Bank without the two, but mine is a little bit different. I just don't want you to get confused. So let's expand the Lakehouse Burst Bank catalog, in my case, Lakehouse Burst Bank 2. And then we're going to expand the TPCDS with stats schema. So here's that schema. And now I can see all the tables in that schema. Let's query the customer table. I can take a shortcut to run a query against this table and get an idea of what the data looks like. All I have to do is click this vertical ellipsis here, and then I'm given some options. So I'm going to do enter select star from customer limit 10. And notice that the text gets automatically pasted into the window here. So now I can run this query. Now keep in mind that all the data here is sitting in an AWS S3 bucket, but with Galaxy, it's super easy to just use the SQL you're familiar with to query it. I can also type in my own query, of course. So let's type out a simple query against the customer address table. Now I'm going to run this one. You can also review query details by clicking the eyeball icon right here. And I'm not going to go into detail about the information shown here, but it's pretty detailed and very helpful. You can learn more about how to review the query details in the Starburst Academy course titled Exploring Query Plans. Before we finish, let's do one more query. This time, I want to use a join. Suppose you wanted to target a marketing campaign for home delivery. You need to show a list of first and last names for customers that have home addresses listed in the system. The C first name and C last name columns in the customer table will work for the names, and addresses are stored in the customer address table. You can use an inner join to display the list of names ordered by current address. So I'm going to just copy and paste the query that I already have prepared here. So I've pasted in my query, and you can find this query in the instructions below this video. So let's run this query. And here we have our results. And remember that this join is happening entirely on the data lake. You're able to run structured queries using SQL, just as if you were using a data warehouse, but the underlying resource costs are much lower. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.